What's up YouTube? So today's video I'm going to continue on with the BMW. I've got the exhaust valve. Kind of want to show you a, just a little video clip of me unpackaging this exhaust valve and how it actually arrived to me. Um, something I'm still going to put in. I did pick up some uh, lapping compound to lap a valve into the seat and uh, so that's where I'll be going next. But uh, first I'll show you the video clip of me unpackaging this. So I, I got the valve. And the reason I know this this is the valve is because I can literally feel the valve inside this bag. And I just want to show you how this person sells and packages an engine component to ship overseas. Bubble mailer, some kind of thing here. Wow. And it's actually in a little paper bag as well. So literally this, which has absolutely no air in it, uh, was protecting the valve. But is it the way I expect something to be shipped? I mean, no. Th that could be bent, right? I, I don't know if it's bent. I expect it to be in a box, packaged properly. And so I just kind of want to compare the two valves, taking the old one and checking the height. You're better off to measure, but they, they look to be the same. I'm also noticing there's a rust pit on the stem of this valve. Can you imagine? But the diameter of the valve's right, the length appears to be right. Where the keepers, the little uh, keeper retainers sit in there, they appear to be right. The head of the stem is the same. Um, so yeah, I'm assuming we got the right valve. We're gotta get, I gotta get this valve in there, so that's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna lap the valve into into the cylinder head, and uh, get prepared to lay the head onto the block. So first, uh, you can see the compounds separated up a little bit. So I just want to give this a little stir. Probably been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. So actually, I probably got enough on the end of my screwdriver, more than enough. We just want to lay it right on the seating area of the valve. Just like lightly spread it on, be liberal with it. So it's got a pretty good coating. And I kind of like to do this just a little dabbing motion to get it all in the center, kind of lined up. can always add a little bit more later if you need to. So here is a valve lapping tool. It's just got a little suction cup end. And it's got two ends, a very large end and a narrow end. We're going to use the narrow end. Maybe just a little, little bit of spit on the end of the suction cup. And then uh, once you have it on there, it should, should relatively stay on there. I mean, it'll pop off certainly. You kind of need to get it really dead center and push really hard on there to make it stick to the actual tool. And then just guide it down into the hole. A little bit of turning. And uh, basically when we're doing this, it's just a rotational thing while, while putting a little bit of pressure down into the valve seat. And I'm just realizing that the combustion chamber is so small that the valve comes right to the edge of the head and, and my the suction cup on my tool is a little bit too big to actually get on there and stay on there. Uh, I mean I was getting it to turn and it'll certainly lift out with the tool but as soon as you go to reseat it and start turning it, it, it really doesn't want to work. Um, there is another way to do this with just uh, using a drill on the other side in low speed. Um, I really don't like doing it that way, but I might have to. So I can't get a drill to fit in on the other side, so I'm left with no choice but to try and use this tool to at least lap, lap this valve in a little bit. It's not going to go the way I want it to, I know, but if I can do something with it. So 
So that's the motion. You want to you want to keep on tapping that valve in, and what it does is recenter all the compound that you have in there to the center, so that when you start to turn it again, it uh, grinds in the area that you want it to. And this may not be perfect, but it's better than not doing it at all. And once you start to feel the things are getting a little smoother, it should probably have done something for you. So pull it out, have a good look. Wipe everything off of the valve. You can see it's got some kind of printing on the valve. just that little bit of work you can really see how, how much we've cleaned up that valve seat and I would say we're gonna get a good pairing out of these two just as is okay so I've got the valve spring compressor out get this new valve installed uh, I just got a little bit of lube on the on the stem So I've got the spring and retainer. Let's slip that over top of the valve and guide the tool where it needs to go. We just need to open it up a little bit more. Sit the end of the tool on the end. I'll just sit the tool on the end of this retainer and slowly start just turning it in by hand, trying to keep it straight. Get a little tension going on the spring. And you want to. You really want to be careful. You don't slip off the end here. And now that we're sitting in the center of the valve on both sides, we can just slowly crank this in, making sure it doesn't slip off. Make sure that the valve stem is coming through the center. down that you can get those keepers in there we're gonna try it right about there so the keepers are little half moons they can be difficult to get in there but if you get them into their into their little slots generally they'll stick right to the valve stem we might have to go down a little bit further this easy get one side on Let's see if I can give it a little turn around just to make the, getting the other side in easy and those have a taper to them they they flange outwards and as they get away from the the spring they taper out and get larger so it's like a little wedge that clamps in there and as we let back out on this compressor the retainer will go around that wedge and get locked into place so as you're coming back 
and keep this thing in there. As you're coming back, you want to go nice and slow. Make sure you're coming out straight and that the keepers stay into place. See one tried to walk out there, but when the retainer starts to come around, it'll, it'll force them to sit where they should. And as you release it, the valve will be fully installed. And then if you really want to, you can actually check retention and uh, operation. Take the plastic end of a, of a mallet and sit it right on the end of the valve stem if you can hold it there and then just lightly tap on the other side with the, with the normal hammer and I don't know how well the camera can pick that up but the valve will just chatter open a tiny bit you make sure everything's tight and it's going to operate just good it's just perfect one more addition is to install that one rocker that we removed first into the proper location and get ready to install all the rest and the camshaft.
So it's now today, Sunday. I I was editing a lot last night, and I've started a little bit this morning. I uh, I've got a lot on there already, and I've had to speed up this time lapse quite a bit. Uh, I've also my my back is a little bit done from doing that yesterday. I guess just from torquing and being bent over. I didn't really feel it while I was working, but now this morning I I feel my back is a little bit sore. Uh, I was going to continue on today, and I may still do a little bit here and there, but it's not going to be in this video. It'll be for the next one. I'm not sure my time frame now. It might not be the next video I get this thing out, because I do have some other footage I can post. But uh, we'll see what happens. I'll just have to uh, keep working away at it and get this thing finished and running. And hopefully it runs perfect, right? I don't want to have any issues with my timing when I go to do that, so I want to take the take the time I need to make sure everything's set properly uh, using that new alignment kit to do the job. But yeah, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Getting lots of new subscribers. Love it. Uh, leave your questions and comments further down below. And I'll see you in the next one.